Hello there, everybody. So, I got back from MAGFest 2014 this year, past year. It's been confusing me because, you know, it's called, it's MAGFest 12, it's their 12th annual convention, but it's 2014. So I keep saying MAGFest 2014, but it's actually MAGFest 12. But I keep thinking it's MAGFest 2012. Whatever. So, I got back from that this past weekend, and it was awesome. It was way different from any convention I've ever been to, which was nice, it was refreshing. It was a 24 hour convention, 24 hours. Oh, it was like, you know, it started Thursday, went all day and night till Sunday at six o'clock. It was a lot, it, it just, you know, it was fun, but it was also at the same time exhausting because you were on the convention floor for a lot longer than usual at you know regular conventions like uh, um, Baltimore Comic Con, Virginia Comic Con, New York Comic Con even, where you have set hours. This was any time of the day, so it was really cool. I mean, it was fun. Um, you didn't feel pressured to have to get up so early or anything like that. You could relax. It was more vacation-y, <laughs> you know, than anything. It was just casual and fun, and uh, it was awesome. Um, they had a game room that was so unbelievable. Just every game imaginable. They had pinball to old arcade games, all consoles, every console. It did not matter. Um, they had motion games so you could play Just Dance if you wanted to and then some other motion games and it was really cool. Um, then they had like a concert, concerts going on in different rooms so they had that, they had tabletop games, everything. It was something for everybody. So even if you're just a little bit of a gamer, there was something there for you. The vending room was like not as big as I've seen it before, but the vending room had some amazingly awesome, talented artists. Uh, so that was really cool um, to kind of explore those. I bought a few things. So uh, that um, the cosplay was amazing. Uh, it was very. It was a very small cosplay community in comparison to other conventions. But um, and from what I hear, this was actually the biggest year for cosplay at Magfest. But um, it was it was small to me in, in my opinion, but the cosplays that I saw were top notch. Like it was just awesome. Every single one of them, you could tell that they put a lot of effort and a lot of heart and soul into it. And it was just awesome. It was beautiful work. Um, one day I went as Sonic the Hedgehog, and the second I was as Wendy Koopa. Uh, so and then the third I went as a Borderlands Two Psycho for like a half hour, but I was tired and I just was ready to not cosplay for a little while. Oh, can you believe I just said that? But seriously, I was just like, I had a blast. Everybody I met, they were so appreciative of the cosplays and it was just awesome. So thank you to everyone who like stopped to take pictures and stuff. That's just awesome. Makes me feel really good. Um, and another thing, I want to thank like my Tumblr page just like went through the roof like it was awesome like my t it's weird how from convention to convention different social media gets the attention like my when I went to Virginia Comic Con it was my Facebook page where a lot of feedback came on to but this time it was my tumblr like it just went poof it went bleep. so I really really that was awesome I really appreciate that too you know thank you to all my tumblr followers thumbs up <laughs> but yeah so um I had a great time would I go back next year oh yeah Hands down, I would go back. We're already talking about it. We're already trying to get like a group together to go. Um, I have a lot of cosplay ideas for it, being that it's gaming based. Ah, oh, can't wait. So yeah, that's definitely on my list to go back next year, and I am so excited. So to everyone I met there, I cannot wait to see you again at next year's convention or any convention. Um, if you haven't been to Magfest, go. You will not be disappointed. Even if you're just a little bit of a gamer, you will love it. So thank you all. Bye. Rah.